In this video, I'm going to talk about why you need to stop using cones when subdivision modeling. So what do I mean? So when you're trying to create anything that is conical in nature, you may be tempted to use this cone primitive that is found in the add mesh option. Now there are a few reasons why you would want to avoid using the cone. So one of those reasons are that it actually can cause some potential pinching in your mesh and it can also cause some shading artifacts at the time of render. And the second reason is that it can disrupt your edge flow. So let's uh, take a closer look at why we want to avoid using the cone when subdivision modeling. So the first reason is we have a pole here and I've already made a video a long time ago explaining why poles are bad. So if you haven't seen that video, then I'm going to make sure that it is the top right corner of this video or you can find it in the description. So immediately with a pole at the top here, we're going to end up with some pinching when we subdivide it and it's also going to cause some shading artifacts. So if I were to subdivide this, let's just go ahead and insert the bottom here and just cut in a loop here just to hold that edge in place. And if I were to now subdivide this, you can immediately see that we end up with this um, radial pattern and the mesh is basically being pinched. So this is one of the problems that I was talking about. And the other thing is that we aren't going to be able to easily add loops as this disrupts the edge flow. So what can you actually use in the place of the cone? Well, you can use the cube and you can also use a cylinder to create a cone. So let's go ahead and delete this and create a cube. So I'm just going to select the top face here and I'm going to scale this down. And I'm also going to just add a division here and let me just insert the face at the bottom. Now, if I were to go ahead and subdivide this, I'm going to end up with a cone and let's just give this a few more levels and I'm going to scale this top a little bit more. And this is another way you can go about creating a cone. However, there's a problem with this as well. So if you actually look at the bottom here, we don't have a perfectly circular base. So for the best result, I would recommend using a cylinder. So let's go ahead and create a cylinder. And make sure you have eight vertices. And before you do anything, just go ahead and connect the points on the cap so that you have a quad cap. And now we can go ahead and select this and scale it down like so. And I'm just going to insert the bottom as well and add a loop here just to hold that edge when I subdivide it. So now I'm going to go ahead and subdivide this. So with this you can see that we have a cone with a circular base and it's also going to shade properly and it's not going to have any kind of artifacts when you render and you're not going to have any kind of pinching going on. And you can also add loops easily, both horizontally as well as vertically. Now let's move on to some examples. All right, so I have models of bullets here. And with the one on the left hand side, I used a cone primitive to create the tip of this bullet. And with the other one, I used a cylinder to create the tip of this bullet. Now, if we come close and analyze this mesh, we can see that there is some light pinching. I'm not sure it's going to be shown in this recording, uh, but there is some light pinching that is going on here. And we also have some weird kind of uh, shading going on right at the tip. We have this weird star pattern. Um, whereas with the one that was created using the cylinder, we don't seem to have that problem. And we don't have any kind of pinching as well. And the other thing is this disrupts our edge flow when we have 
uh, when we utilize the cone to create any kind of uh, conical shape whereas with the cylinder here I'm easily able to add loops both horizontally and vertically as well now this might seem trivial however these topology basics play an important role when creating high quality assets so that's it for this video if you found it informative like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one